And where are you now in regards to Jesus, Christianity, the church? Um, it's, it's very difficult to um, feel safe in a church right now. Mm -hmm. um, though I have found a church in my new area. Um, mm -hmm. Though there's, there's still a lot of things that happen that kind of, um, they, make, they make me feel very scared. And I, I think I'm probably going to feel like that for a very long time. Um, it, it comes with something like this, and I know yes. that. Um, they, I think that's kind of the biggest issue with, um, with being, they, they call us Xers. Hmm. Um, with being an Xer is that they... Um, most of us lose our faith mm -hmm. and it's very, very difficult to hang on to it. I've met quite a few people um, who have left the church that just weren't, they couldn't, they couldn't hang on to their faith at all. Would and, you say that's because of what you were saying about uh, the faith being kind of split between Jesus and the church and it's kind of their pair. It's hard to just put all of the faith on Jesus or. I, I think that the reason that so many people that leave this church lose their faith is because um, the disciples, they use, they use scripture to <laughs> tear a person down mm. they use jesus and they use god and they use the word to tear a person apart bit by bit until there's nothing left mm. and having that done to you it it hurts it hurts to think that somebody if this is supposed to be the word of God and mm -hmm. God is this loving person and Jesus is this loving person, then how could, how could their words be used to hurt so much? Mm -hmm. And I think that's why people lose their faith after leaving, leaving this church. Do you have anybody or any group or at the church you're going to that is able to help you see the Bible in a different way or put a different frame on some of these different belief systems or help you through some of those like basic trust issues? I believe it. I believe so. I just haven't really found a very good foothold yet. I'm still okay. very new in this church. Okay. Um, I've brought it up with a couple of people. That, um, I come from a pretty rough background <laughs> with the, with, you know, regarding churches. Um, but um, I haven't really, I haven't really got a very good foothold yet. Okay. I'm still getting, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still trying to find out how, where I fit in in this church. It's actually a very large church. This is kind of one of the larger churches I've ever been to. Um, so I haven't even like I'm I'm like being in ICOC. Everybody knows your name, and you know the um, you know the pastor's name. They know you. Everything. Now, I'm not used to being in um in a church where everybody doesn't know everybody else. Mm. This, uh, you have a chain of command in, in mm. ICOC where, you know, you're being discipled by one person, that person's being discipled by another person, and that person's being discipled by a leader. Yeah. Yeah. So they all know everything. Um, and I'm not used to not having that quite mm. yet. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out where I fit in in this church.